And as you indicated before we started recording, the, yeah, the multiverse is coming up in a big way. So there's, a, there's interconnectivity there that people have already started to see and suss out. And I had a meeting this morning with the whole broad Marvel Studios team going through the multiverse and the rules of the multiverse and exactly how to um, you know, really deliver on, uh, on the uh, excitement surrounding the multiverse. Because like with so much with Marvel, that is a topic. When we first had Sam Jackson appear in a cameo at the end of Iron Man, I really thought it would be a small group, relatively small group of people that were excited by that and that we'd have to then educate a broader public about, about what that meant and who Nick Fury was. But almost instantly, if you remember way back to the summer of 2008, it ignited really everyone's imagination. And in the mm-hmm. same way, the multiverse is something that we geek out about and we really love all the storytelling potential it brings, but thought we really had to slowly dole out what it was and, and, and introducing the conceit even in briefly in Doctor Strange and then as a fake out in Spider-Man Far From Home. But I will tell you something. It is more than just fans that are following along with the multiverse storyline. It's really quite exciting even to see it midway through the Loki series now as people uh, respond to the possibility.